I request Professor Viswajit Patnaik, Honorable President of ASPM University, to kindly deliver his address. Revered Chief Guest, His Excellency, Sri Namnath Kovind, Honorable Former President of India, Esteemed Guest of Honor, His Excellency, Sri P. S. Sridharan Pillai, Honorable Governor of Goa, First Lady of Goa, Madam, here we are thankful to you, ma'am, for joining us. Captain G. R. Gopinath, Mrs. Gopinath, Trustees of ASBM Trust, Members of the Board of Governors, Vice President Prof. Kalyan Shankar Rai, Vice Chancellor Prof. Ranjan Kumar Bhatt, Registrar, Members of the Academic Council, Faculty and Staff Members, Invited Guests, Members of the Print and the Electronic Media, Almanai, dear students and their proud parents. In the Gurukul system of the Vedic era, just before the Shishyas left the ashram of their Guru, guide or after completion of their education, he used to give them some parting advice, his blessings combined with some life lessons, just like the present day convocation. The eleventh Anubhaka from the Shishya Bhali of the Taitriya Upanishad from the Jajur Veda lists some behavioral guidelines for the graduating students from a Gurukul that I quote below. Never err from truth. Never err from dharma. Never neglect your well-being. Never neglect your health. Never neglect your prosperity. Never neglect Sudhya, study of oneself and Prabhakan. These words of wisdom are still valid today. Continuing this ancient tradition, I as a teacher take this opportunity to share some of my thoughts with my graduating students from my life experience. Be passionate is the mantra that I would like to give you today as my parting advice. In fact, the Kothopanishad very aptly says, you are your deep driving desire. As is your desire, so is your will. As is your will, so is your act. As is your act, so is your destiny. This is because passion as a strong emotion can be a very powerful driving force in life to realize your dreams and goals. In fact, research studies reveal that when people genuinely enjoy their passion and profession and are motivated by their inner drive, they tend to be more satisfied with their work and more psychologically healthy. Passion is what passion does and you need to keep your passion alive. The noted French writer and Nobel laureate Andre once said, one cannot discover new oceans unless one has the courage to lose sight of the soul. The beauty of this metaphor is that you cannot get success if you are unable to go outside your comfort zone. In this temple of learning, the core values of life to be successful and become independent thinkers have already been instilled in you. To lead with courage involves living in a state of possibility. You will be experiencing times of stress and transition, exhilaration 
and contemplation. It always takes courage to learn something new, to stand up for something in which you believe, and to take on the challenges of everyday life. Most of all, it takes courage to take change, chances to make mistakes and even to succeed. Today, whatever you do, you must act with honesty, with integrity, and regardless of your chosen career, you are only as good as your word. Leading with integrity is to consistently be decisive and take action, to have the conviction to walk the talk and to have the potential to make exceptional contributions to the world and our future. Even if you are highly educated, smart, articulate, persuasive and wealthy, these will be of no use if you are not honest. As the saying goes, if you have integrity, nothing else matters. And if you do not have integrity, again, nothing else matters. John Huntsman, senior, asserts in his book, Winners Never Cheat, even in difficult times, that he started his chemical company, Huntsman Corporation, from the scratch and turned it into a $12 billion enterprise mainly because of his integrity and consistency. You all have your own plans. You will begin cultivating your passion through several different modes, maybe through a corporate career or something else. So you will move in different directions. No matter what you have in store for your future, I encourage you to dream big and yet, focus on your small and personal wins as well. As you go forward, remember to be true to yourself and know your worth. Live with integrity and follow your passion. When the going gets tough, stand up for what you believe in. And when you need a support system, think about those who are here for you today. I encourage you all to follow your instincts and curiosity wherever they lead and broaden your knowledge by reading as much as you can. Embrace the opportunities to collaborate because it is the key to your success as a society as well as for your growth as individuals. Before I conclude, I congratulate each one of you Again, we at ASBM University are honored and privileged to confer the honorary doctorates on Dr. P.S. Sridharan Pillai and Dr. G.R. Gopinath for their outstanding contributions to society at large. I would now like to express my sincere gratitude to our esteemed chief guest, His Excellency Sri Ramnath Kovind. Honorable former President of India for his blessings. On this auspicious day, we are blessed, sir, for your presence. I am also grateful to Sri, to His Excellency Dr. P. S. Sridharan Pillai, Honorable Governor of Goa, for gracing this occasion. Madam Sridharan, I convey my sincere thanks to all our stakeholders including the parents of our students for their faith and believe in us. Thank you. Jai Hind.